and hello everyone welcome back to another PHP tutorial in this tutorial we'll be talking about installing PHP on Linux so we'll be covering two types of distributions ones that use Arch Linux or is a distribution of Arch Linux and use the Pacman package manager and the other is Ubuntu based or Debian based and uses the apt package manager so if you use like Linux Mint or Endeavor OS or Ubuntu or anything similar to like Pop OS or whatnot, you're good to go with this tutorial. All right, so you can open up your file manager and find a folder you want to put your PHP project in. I'm just going to create a PHP project here. Then in here, I'm going to create a new file. Oh wait, some of you may not have this option because you might be using Pop OS, smart, and then you can just open this up in your text editor or code editor of choice. Mine is VS Code. All right, once you've done that, you can click this new file icon. If I were to make this a bit bigger, there we go. Click that, call it index.php. You'll notice the file now appears here. Then once you've done that, we can just go HTML. And uh, oh, whoops, we don't need all of this. Let me just do that. All right, so you just need this. And in here you can go PHP. If you don't know any HTML, because this is basically HTML, I highly recommend you go watch my HTML course. You don't need to know HTML to do PHP, but it's highly recommended that you know at least a little bit. And in here we can echo out, hello world, and remember to put a semicolon at the end. Then you can just go file and say save. Make sure the file is saved. Then here is where we're going to change up on what we're going to be installing it on. So I'm first going to install it on Arch Linux using the Pacman package manager. And then I'm going to jump over to an Ubuntu base using apt. You can see the timestamps on the video or in the description and it will show you where which begins. So you can just jump to wherever you need to be. All right, so here we can just say terminal, new terminal, and we can just go pacman ss php, so we can search for php. And this is just for fun. You don't need to search for it, but here we have php. I already have it installed, but I'll show you how to install it anyways. So sudo pacman s php. Once you've done that, it will install the latest version of php onto your system. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. And once you have PHP installed, you can just go PHP dash S local host 3000. And this will start a server on the port 3000 on your system inside this folder. So make sure you say terminal, new terminal. So it's inside the same folder. Then here we can just go and open up that. And there we go, we get hello world. Now it's also recommended that we also just for funsies, test out PHP version. Now I got that auto completion from random extensions installed from the extension store. So if you just search PHP, you'll also find extensions. So this is the one I'm using. Perfect. Now if we were to save that and we were to refresh here, we'll get 8.3.2. Remember to first save your file. So if you did not get an update and then refresh. So remember, file, save. After you saved your changes, you can go here and click the refresh button and you'll see the update. All right, so I don't have VS Code installed on this Linux Mint system. So I'm just going to go here and say open in terminals. So in the folder, open in terminal. You also have this option in VS Code and many other text editors. There we go. So once you're sure you're in the same folder as this index.php, if you go ls, you should see index.php. So anything from eight point anything should be fine. So sudo apt update and sudo apt install. Now you may not have 8.1, you can actually just say php8 and that's probably gonna work. All right, so in my case, it could not find php8. 
So I just said sudo apt install PHP, but you could say PHP 8.1 if you want a specific version, but PHP would work perfectly fine as well. It will then give you a question on whether you want to install this with PHP and you can just press enter, say yeah, install everything that you need. After waiting about three days, apt will finally be done installing PHP. Once it's installed, make sure you're still in the same folder. So you should still see index.php. You shouldn't have moved this anywhere. So you should still be in the same folder. And I can just go PHP dash S local host 8,000 or 3,000 or 5,000. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Once that's done, you can just visit this link. So right click open link. All right. Then you should see this. Hello world. Now, after you've done that, we can just do one more thing and go PHP version and then just save this. So once you've saved that, you can click the refresh button and there you go. You should see something similar to this. So as long as you get a number, you're good to go. And that's the basics of installing PHP on your system. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you all again in the next PHP tutorial.